Hello, I'm so glad that you've joined me today. My name is Georgiana Lotfi and I am a psychotherapist and I, I have a doctor of ministry. <coughs> oh, pardon me, excuse me. Um, and I've been writing prayers and meditations for many years. Many of them are on YouTube. All of them are on Spotify and Pandora. If you care to listen to some of the ones that have been created and released, they're all they're all there free for your uh, in, uh, enjoyment and also your own meditation and prayer. I am doing five minutes of live uh, prayer, non-denominational, every day until um, Easter Sunday, and then I'll regroup and see if you know if it uh, interest is. I may I may continue. I'm, I'm not sure. But I realize that for me, and less I have an active relationship with my creator, my universal life force. Uh, and for me, that's, I'm Christian, so it's, for me it's Jesus, Jesus, my savior. But unless I have this relationship, I lose connection. And I've often thought, well, it's not my creator that's losing the connection. That's always there. It's me. I'm going to, I'm going to clear my throat and take a sip of water because I have what I call tea voice in the morning. <laughs> Pardon me. So this morning um, there was a, we, we're, I'm in San Diego, we went to uh, Torrey Pines and looked over the magnificence of the ocean and one of the places that I connect very strongly with my creator is, is at the ocean with the sound of the waves on the pebbles and the sound of the seagulls above and my feet walking in sand. And the beauty of it all is so magnificent. I just wrote a few lines and then I have a kind of a few lines that I added to it today. Um, I, the love, because I realized something and as I'm talking today to my creator, the love I have for the ocean is but a shadow to the love that it has for me. Just, I couldn't love the creations of God anymore. And even as you're sitting in your spot, if you look around and you see your child or a photograph of a loved one or a flower that's in your house, something that just connects you to something deeper than just that thing. I, I get this with children, with flowers. It's just my love for that, for those, for those people and those, that beauty is just a little tiny bit of what that love for me is, what that love that comes back for me, that is being so freely given by our creator, our universal life force, the creator of all things, the bringer of life, the bearer of truth, the connection in beauty that is all of God's creation. With every breath I connect to God's beauty, universal beauty, creation. Amen. And then one other part of my friend Garrett's I have to read because it, uh, it just brings us going forward into our day. Grant me peace, Lord, that the world may know peace through me. Grant me contentment and joy so the world may learn to live in harmony by observing my own being. Let my form be a vehicle for many to come to know your great goodness, that I may leave it knowing that the work is not of form, but of your kingdom. We're all part of this great universal kingdom of God this morning. Please, any comments of 
what you might have, what you may be looking at and see God's face in, a child, a flower, a pet, pets. We get this with pets. My goodness, sometimes I think they're more, they are closer to God than us because they're just so uh, loving and consistent and peaceful sometimes. So thank you so much for joining me today. I uh, do appreciate any comments that you have. I hope you have a fabulous Saturday and I will see you again tomorrow.